What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the soft whale, well, you've come to the right place. You know, on a level, I've gotta give Fortnite credit. I mean, I saw it trending about three years ago. I thought it was just a fad, one of those games that would remain popular for a time that it and its developers would fade into irrelevancy because they couldn't find a way to use their newfound fame and invest resources into growing. I'm sure you could argue that the Fortnite craze has passed, but no one can deny that it's still making bank it's pulling in deals and collaboration, and it's still making headlines in the gaming news. And you know, that's kind of what we're talking about today. Fortnite is partnering with a luxury clothing line, Balenciaga. If you don't know what a luxury clothing line is, or who Balenciaga is for that matter, well, they make normal clothes, but put outrageous prices on them. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Alright, here we are on their website, obviously Fortnite's on the front page. Scroll down to, I don't know, back to school. Let me just say this fit is horrendous. Who wears a button up shirt with sweatpants? What the hell are those sleeves? Why is their collar all janked up? But you know, that's not even the worst part of it all. Take a look at all these prices. Non, $1,000 for sweatpants. 630 for sunglasses. $3,200 for a goddamn trench coat. How loud it goes on and on and on. What 90 euros for goddamn socks. As you can see, these are normal clothes that you and I would probably buy at a normal store. Except here it's... Well, you saw the prices. It's astounding to me how out of touch fashion designers and rich people are. Between you and me, I'll stick to doing my shopping at Kohl's and Target. But then you have the Fortnite affiliated stuff, which ain't any better. Literally, it's just the Fortnite logo with the Balenciaga logo underneath. There's no interest in design, it's, it's literally just supreme all over again. Paying for nothing but a doggone logo. 395 for a cap, 495 for a normal t-shirt, 725 for a hoodie, a 1050 for a sweater, a good lord. I think the only thing worse than the process is the fact that some of these are sold out. People are actually buying this junk. What a world, man. If I was gonna pay a thousand dollars for a dress, I'd get a mannequin, dude. I'd want it to be eye-catching, good for decoration. But this looks like stuff I'd fold up and toss into my drawer, along with my other normal-looking clothes. Now, Fortnite is also incorporating Balenciaga into their game, you know, putting in new character skins and the like. While the trailer on the official Fortnite channel has been received positively, on IGN's re-upload, reception is... Well, it's bad. Nothing like promoting overpriced branded clothing to young children, LMAO. Let me get that $500 Fortnite Balenciaga with my dad's credit card. An awful borderline brain dead overpriced fashion brand with the world's biggest virtual kindergarten. This is a bizarre fever dream at this point. Honestly, it's kinda weird that the merch is so bland, cause I mean Fortnite is a colorful and vibrant game, it stands out, it's unique. You don't really get that here, you just get a normal looking shirt that doesn't really catch the eye. Seems like it goes up against everything that Fortnite really is. You know, this is really reminding me of the Dream merchandise fiasco. You know when Dream began selling shirts, hoodies, and other junk that's frankly mediocre, right? Literally just a smiley face, nothing special or unique about it. It's overpriced for what you get, but then again, and so is most YouTuber merch. And at least with Dream, well, he ain't charging $700 for a t-shirt. I can't say that I'm not amused by it all, because I had a good chuckle over it. That being said, this has to be one of the worst product tie-ins I've ever seen. Hundreds, even thousands of dollars for clothes that ain't even anything of note. Can't believe people would actually buy this junk. But, well, that's all I've got for this shtick. Now, do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.